Yeah, my name's Duncan Liam Wilson. I'm 33 years old and I'm from Auckland, originally born in London. I'm cycling the coastline of New Zealand, both islands. I'm doing it to raise money for St John Ambulance. St John is an essential service in my mind. Um, I actually don't think it should be a charity. I think it should be a it should be a, a service provided by the government, just like like any other. But I guess we have them as a charity, and that's the way they are. So yeah, it felt like a a service that most or all New Zealanders will use at some time in their life. Um, so it's, it's a worthy cause. They don't just do ambulance services either, they provide first aid equipment to community centres and, and training in local communities as well. I started from Mission Bay in Auckland on the 2nd of January and I've ridden between 40 and 120 k's a day around the coastline, staying almost every day on the coast. Um, I needed a change and I guess the, the five year itch came in and it felt like a good thing to do. Um, there's a guy named Brando Jelovic who walked the coastline and he finished last year. Uh, he took 18 months, he lived off the land and the generosity of New Zealanders. Uh, so I took inspiration from him, I don't think that I'm anywhere near doing the same thing. I've got a bit of savings, I'm buying food on the way around and I'm paying to stay at campgrounds. So it's not the same thing, but he definitely inspired me. Uh, and there's also a number of people in the cycling world around, around the world who have inspired me as well. To name one, uh, Martin Ashton, who's a famous mountain bike trials rider from the United Kingdom. Had an accident at the end of 2013 and he's paralyzed from the waist down now. And uh, just seeing his Facebook page and his progress as he deals with the paralysis has just been one inspiring feat. Good question. I <laughs> have no idea. Um, yeah, I think, I guess, when you work for a private company for five and a half years, there's very, other than the odd public service thing you may uncover or a bit of entertainment for someone you may create, there's very little you do that's for the community. And I've obviously then gone and done community-based projects. I was a surf lifeguard, for instance. I've gone and, in my own time, given time for, to, to projects like that. But I guess it's good to get out and just do something that's wholly for charity. I grew up around the Stephen Lawrence incident, which is a famous uh, racist murder that happened in South East London, and that had a huge effect on some of us for, for a period of time. He was murdered for being black, and the perpetrators got away with it. He was 18 in the early 90s, yeah, and uh, waiting for a bus, mind his own business with his friend, and stabbed. Basically, there was a huge police cock-up, and the initial trial, they were all, I think the initial trial even collapsed. And then the second trial, they got away with it. Uh, it even came to the point where newspapers were printing their faces with guilty on the front page and saying, if we're wrong, then sue us, because they knew that they wouldn't have the evidence to successfully sue them. It was a really, really, um, yeah, huge turning point in, I think, race relations in South East London. I think a lot of children who grew up around that time, um, extra effort was made in, in putting them in the right direction. So I think there's a, there's a whole new breed of South East Londoner come, come about as, as a result. 
Yeah, it was talked about at Scouts. He actually went to our Scout group a couple, well, a couple of years before um, and knew some of my, our friends. Um, and it was talked about in school as well and also at home too. What made me come to New Zealand? Um, my ex-partner was a New Zealander and we moved out here at the end of 2008. She'd been in London for six years at the time. Felt that it was time to move home. So, And then I had very, very little idea about it. I thought it was a lot closer to Australia for a good 15 years or so until we flew over Australia and that took most of a day. And then we flew from Australia to here and that still took a quarter of a day. And then you, it dawns on you actually how far away from anywhere this place is. And I think that's the key to how, how unique it is. Um, I aspired to work in media as a child, which I've done. Uh, and then as I got older, my dreams became more sort of focused around certain institutions and I've managed to get inside some of those and work for some of those. So yeah, uh, work-wise, I'm largely satisfied. I think I've just got a few personal boxes to tick. I guess I've always lived my life in an attempt to treat others as I'd like to be treated. So yeah, I think how, how people have told me I am now, really. It's just, just, that just went out and took life by the throat and enjoyed it. Lived every day.